15.5a, radicals of mixed index, reduce index. If we were to reduce the index using rational exponents, we could turn this into x to the sixth eighths, y to the two eighths, and then reduce each of these fractions to give us x to the three fourths and y to the one fourth. And then since the denominator is really the index, we could then make it the fourth root of x to the third y. But this is quite an ordeal. So instead, to reduce the index, we simply divide the index and the exponents by the GCF, or greatest common factor. So doing the same problem without using rational exponents, we simply see that they all have a two in common and therefore divide each of them by two. This then gives us the new index of four. Six divided by two gives us x to the third, and two divided by two gives us just a y. As you can see, this was much simpler. As a hint, you will also need to factor any numbers, as their exponents will also have to be divided in order to reduce. And a number all by itself, such as the number eight, actually has the exponent of one, which would have nothing in common with an index. So instead, would need to be rewritten as two to the third. Let's look at example one. Here's example one. Let's start by looking at what number can go into each of these numbers. We have 15, 3, 9, and 6. We know that they all have three in common, so we divide all of them by a three. This will now give us 15 divided by three is a fifth root. Three divided by three is one, so one x. Nine divided by three is three, and six divided by three is two, which gives us our reduced index. Let's look at example two, which also has a number. Here's example two. As you can see, the number 32 is in there, which has an exponent of one. 25, one, 10, five, and 20 have nothing in common and therefore could not be reduced. But if you know that 32 is two to the fifth, then we can replace that in. Now we have the 25th root of two to the fifth, a to the tenth, b to the fifth, and c to the twentieth. Now when we look at the, the index and the exponents, we have 25, five, 10, five, and 20, which all have a five in common. So they can all be divided by five. This will give us the fifth root of two, a to the second, b, and c to the fourth. This is our final answer. Remember, when you are trying to reduce an index, you must divide the index by, you must divide the number by the index and the exponents. Also, remember that you have to factor any numbers that you might find in the problem.